I share in all of the identities, the black generational experience, the African, gener the African experience, as well as my own personal experience being from Jamaica as well as Dominica. When you first got here, you know, a black man at Harvard, there are very few black people anyway, but here you are arriving with your full self. I was very shocked. One of the things I was looking forward to coming in was that coalescence of different cultures just coming together. And from my experience, I had predominantly only dealt with Caribbean Americans and generational African Americans. One of the major disappointments for me coming on the campus was that I imagined it to be this great melting pot, and yet it did not live up to that expectation. How much do you, of that do you put on the institution? I put a great deal on the institution. I think that the institution can do more to foster diversity and inclusion efforts. I think that just admitting 18% of black students into your population, student population is not enough. Do you feel safe here? Physically, yes. I think emotionally and potentially spiritually that it's more complicated. This college does not adequately account for the black experience. It's very difficult, especially as a black man, to navigate these spaces that were created for white men. And so in our talk, in our speech, in our mannerisms, we always have to be a bit overly critical. We have to overanalyze how we conduct ourselves in the classrooms, how we dress on the streets, because we don't want to be uh, stereotyped or racialized by our fellow classmates or by professors or by uh, Harvard University Police Department. So that's always something that I'm thinking about at the back of my mind. I've been a black man a long time and it can be exhausting moving through the world, right, period, as a black man. But I can only imagine being on Harvard's campus. It sounds absolutely ex exhausting. People see on the outside a black man walking through Harvard Yard uh, thinking that he has it all together. But on the inside, we're just trying to make it through day by day. And so that's very exhausting when you have to externally appear confident, externally appear that you have it all together. However, there are a lot of different things happening internally uh, that people are unaware of.